Yeah, Eric, and Dannon is taking the same job at the University of Nebraska after it seems like he just got here on Montlake with big financial questions looming. This rate of change, Chris, is just completely out of control. To say Dave Baller gets animated talking about the University of Washington is certainly an understatement. Why did he even come here? Why did Troy Dannon even take this job? It's a question I asked on Dannon's first day in October. Why take this role now? Washington has a great reputation nationally in, in everything. And so being a part of it, you know, it's a, a career goal for almost all of us in this profession. Yet Dannon's goal is now apparently in Nebraska. And Mahler, a UW insider host and ambassador, has gone from throwing burgers at a celebration of the Husky football team in January to throwing verbal grenades. And then behind the scenes, I think there was just some... There was a little bit of friction between him and the staff at Washington. Dannon is leaving after spending millions in a short amount of time. I've been here, I think, 108 days. Seven and a half million a year on new football coach Jed Fish, firing and buying out the contract of hoops coach Mike Hopkins, all while beginning work on a $60 million basketball training facility with increasing debt payments on Husky Stadium and travel costs for the Huskies as they move to the Big Ten Conference, which was approved by UW President Anamari Kase. There needs to be a bigger, I think, financial investment from upper campus in the entire athletic department starting tonight. Uh, and how does that happen? It happens by either Anna Marikause stepping down and somebody else taking over or a new AD convincing Anna Marikause to be a bigger partner financially with Washington's athletic department. End of story. A story that seemed so nice around the football national championship game in January and now enters a chapter of financial and leadership uncertainty. Mueller also told me that Dannon's family never moved with him here to Seattle, which makes the move to Lincoln and the University of Nebraska easier. That's the story for now. Live on the UW campus, I'm Chris Daniels, Como News. What a mess, Chris. Thank you. Shortly after the news broke, UW President Anna Marie Cause released a statement that reads in part, this is deeply disappointing, but as a university committed to the welfare of the entire individual, we understand the need to make choices based on what's best for one's family. We wish Troy well. The statement goes on to say that the search for a new athletic director begins immediately. Tonight's Como Pulse poll deals with UW. Preston's at the live desk going over those results. Preston? Yeah, quite a few more people have voted since the last time we brought this up. About 500 votes so far. It's still a fairly new poll, so we want to keep the votes coming in. Keep tallying them right here on Como News. It's really easy to vote. Just scan the QR code here on your screen. That's going to take you right to ComoNews.com where you can cast your vote. So here's the question we're asking this evening. How concerned are you about the future of UW athletics? 51% say not at all, 31% say very, and 18% say somewhat. We're always committed to being your voice on the issues that matter most. Our local Como Pulse poll, it's a great way for you to speak out and have your voice heard.